deaths of a couple at a Davie home. The Department of Justice today revealing new details on the case and the raid on that couple's home. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live in Davie tonight with that story. Well, we learned uh, today from this news conference in Washington some of what was taken from this home last week when two of its occupants were charged in being part of a ring importing heroin and fentanyl primarily from China. Last Wednesday, we watched as federal and local agents removed a luxury car and boxes of evidence from a million-dollar home in the upscale Laurel Oaks neighborhood of Davie. Elizabeth Tan and Anthony Gomez were hauled in on drug conspiracy charges involving a network that allegedly imported loads of heroin from China and Canada, heroin laced with fentanyl. In D.C. today, top lawmen talked about the case that began less than two years ago in North Dakota when police investigated an overdose death from fentanyl. A drug that is 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine has become a menace to our communities across our nation and around the world. Fentanyl can be fatal if even a tiny bit is inhaled or touched. That's believed to have happened to 10-year-old Alton Banks in Miami this year. The Fed said these two arrested in Davie are among 21 people who have been charged in the case and among nine named in this federal indictment out of North Dakota unsealed last week. Some detail released now as to just what a task force of U.S. and local cops took from the Davy Mance last week. The search of their residence resulted in the seizure of approximately $175,000 in U.S. currency, a Maserati, and two firearms. The couple had moved into the posh home just a few months ago, an upgrade allegedly financed by dealing in the most deadly drug on earth. To neighbors, they appeared the typical family next door. For them to pick a quiet community like this, I can, I can understand why they would pick something quiet like this for them to be under the radar, but uh, they didn't last long. Still lasting and growing, though, an opioid crisis that is consuming the nation. Now, President Trump says he will declare the opioid crisis a national emergency next week. That will open up a host of resources uh, be that uh, counties, states, municipalities can use to fight this problem that claims upward of 100 lives a day. We're live in Davie, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.